It's easy to get started with a new company file on Reckon Accounts Hosted. Here on the No Company Open screen, just click on the Create a New Company icon. You can choose to skip this interview and configure the file later through the Preferences module, but it is easy to go through the interview and tell Reckon Accounts Hosted basic information about how you want to manage your file. Start by entering basic information about your company file. This information will be important for contact details, report titles and creation of export files. Next, we can select a set of accounts tailored towards your specific industry. If the options don't fit your business, select General or None. We'll select Simple Chart of Accounts. Next, nominate the type of business you are, the start of your financial year, and enter a password if you wish. We're now ready to create the company file. It will save to your Q drive, so give it an easy name to identify it with. You can leave the interview now if you wish, but it's a good idea to continue to tell your company file a little more about your business, like what we sell, track tax, create estimates, track customer orders, sales receipts, statements, progress invoicing, manage bills, inventory, track time, employees. Let's select the starting date for the file and let's choose to create a bank account. Enter an opening balance. We can add more bank accounts if we wish. Now we can review our chart of accounts and untick any unwanted ones. Now the file will be configured. When finished, you'll be taken to the home page, which contains active icons which you can use to launch key functions. There are other sections for your company services, banking and other useful services. Although your file is all set up, there are a few more steps you may want to do before entering data. You may want to have a few customers, so click on the Customer Center icon and right click in the left pane and select Add Customer. Let's add the customer cash sales to easily track casual sales. You only need to add a name. Other information can be added later. We can do the same to create a supplier. And also an employee. A key element to transactions is items, which you can see through lists and item list. I think this window is too small, so I'll change it in Edit, Preferences, Desktop View. I prefer a one window view, and I don't want to save the desktop selection when I exit the file. You can also change your preferences for the home page and colour settings. Now to continue with our item, right click and select New. The first box will give you a number of item types. We'll create an inventory part for the inventory we want to track. This setup screen allows us to define basic elements that are needed to complete a transaction and will automatically populate onto forms. On the right is sales information. The sales price, a sales tax code, and importantly, an income account. If the account you want is not in the list, just click on Add to create it. Finally, you may want to check the chart of accounts. Are all necessary accounts present? Click on Lists and Chart of Accounts. Here, review the list to ensure all accounts you will regularly use are, are there. Some accounts were created as we activated features on for account business. Let's add a new account for owner drawings, an equity account. Right click and select New equity and call it owner drawings. 
and then make any other selections and save and close. There are many shortcuts you can develop to make your work easier. For instance, in the top right is an icon bar where you can create shortcuts for frequent actions. Right click it, select customize, select add and select a function like create invoices and see it appear on the icon bar. Now you just need to click it to open the invoice form. Click on company snapshot where you can create small windows of information for a quick overview of your company file. Here is one from the sample file. You can choose from a selection of items in the company, payments and customer sectors. Click on the graph or table to bring it to full screen for closer examination. Rearrange their order to suit your preferences. Your file is now ready for use. It's a good idea to create a backup to protect what you have done so far. It's a good idea to backup often. So, File, Save Copy or Backup, Backup Copy, Local Backup, and Save to your B drive. Your file is now safe and ready for you to enter data.